both thought things would return to the way they once were, before the war. But they hadn't. Nine shows to watch like Outlander. At number one, we have the law according to Lydia Poet throughout history. Women who were ahead of their time often faced severe repercussions. Claire, for instance, was nearly burned at the stake after being accused of witchcraft. Similarly, Lydia Poet ran into trouble with the Italian courts and was ultimately disbarred. Inspired by the true story of Lydia Poet, one of Italy's pioneering female lawyers, the law according to Lydia Poet depicts her struggle to practice law in Turin during the late 1800s. Despite being unjustly disbarred, due to sexism, Lydia refuses to retreat into the background. Instead, she becomes an assistant to her lawyer brother Enrico, determined to pursue her own form of poetic justice. At number two, we have Crash Landing on You, a woman accidentally finds herself in a foreign land. A charming stranger stumbles upon her and pledges to protect her. Despite their contrasting backgrounds, they fall deeply in love. This narrative isn't just the beginning of Claire and Jamie's tale. It's also the inception of Yoon Se-ri and Ri jong Hyok's captivating journey in the heartwarming K-drama, Crash Landing on You. Yoon Se-ri, a South Korean businesswoman and heiress, experiences a paragliding mishap that lands her on the North Korean side of the demilitarized zone. There, she encounters Ri jong Hyok, an army captain and piano virtuoso, who risks everything to aid her return home. Across 16 episodes filled with international intrigue, daring romances, and familial conflicts, audiences will find themselves fervently supporting this couple until the very end. And hey, at least they share the same century. At number three, we have called a midwife throughout different eras. Whether as a World War II combat nurse, an 18th century healer, or a doctor in the 1960s, Claire has consistently demonstrated a deep-seated desire to aid others. This same fervor resonates with the nurse midwives and nuns of non-natus house in London's East End, who not only deliver babies but also care for the various ailments and afflictions of the impoverished Poplar District. With its enduring 12 seasons available for streaming, Call the Midwife will not only captivate and amuse you, but also leave you with a newfound admiration for the advancements of modern medicine. Because let's face it, nobody wants to experience the wrong end of a glass rectal tube. At number four, we have Bridgerton craving another irresistibly romantic and often sizzling period drama set in the heart of Great Britain and adapted from a best-selling book series? Well, look no further. Bridgerton, based on Julia Quinn's beloved romance novels, follows the captivating journey of the esteemed Bridgerton siblings through the high society of Regency London. Season one focuses on the eldest sister, Daphne, portrayed by Phoebe Dinever, while season two shifts the spotlight to the eldest brother, Anthony, played by Jonathan Bailey. Amidst navigating societal norms and matters of the heart, scandal, gossip, and intrigue abound, just as Lady Whistledown would have it. And the excitement doesn't stop there. Brace yourself for season three, where attention turns to Bridgerton confidant Penelope Featherington, portrayed by Nicola Coughlin, and her enduring affection for Colin Bridgerton, played by Luke Newton. At number five, we have the crown as a Scotsman. Jamie's relationship with the English has always been fraught. Even before the events of Outlander, he finds himself imprisoned for defending his family's Lallybrock estate against invading soldiers. Throughout the series, he reluctantly aligns with the crown, accepting a land grant in North Carolina and the obligations it entails. Fast forward 200 years, and the British monarchy still grapples with intricate relationships with its subjects, allies, and agents. This complexity is vividly portrayed in Peter Morgan's The Crown, tracing Queen Elizabeth II's journey from princess to the longest reigning monarch in British history, complete with all the political and familial turbulence that accompanies it. Indeed, wearing the crown comes with great burdens. At number six, we have secrets of great British castles when it comes to royal bastions. Outlander skillfully incorporates Scotland's breathtaking castles and centuries-old facades to imbue the show with authenticity. If these architectural marvels have piqued your interest in historic buildings, you won't want to miss out on a fascinating two-season docu-series hosted by historian Dan Jones. This series delves into renowned structures across the United Kingdom, offering insight into their rich histories and significance. Among the Scottish highlights are Stirling Castle and the iconic Edinburgh Castle, the crown jewel of the country. Did you know that Edinburgh Castle boasts a one o'clock gun fired daily, except on Sundays, Good Friday, and Christmas since 1861? At number seven, we have Frontier offering a distinct perspective on 18th century North America. Frontier, co-created by brothers Rob and Peter Blackie, shifts its focus to the cutthroat world of the fur trade in Canada. Jason Momoa leads the series as outlaw trapper Declan Harper, determined to dismantle the monopoly controlled by the corrupt Hudson's Bay Company. However, he faces formidable opposition from the powerful rival, Lord Benton, 
portrayed by Alan Armstrong. For an immersive experience, we suggest cozying up under a blanket with a piping hot mug of cocoa while delving into the chilling landscapes of Canada depicted in the series. At number 8 we have the lost pirate kingdom navigating the high seas in the 1700s inevitably leads to encounters with pirates, a lesson Claire and Jamie learned firsthand. However, there's far more to these seafaring rogues than the cliches of peg legs and buried treasure. The Lost Pirate Kingdom, narrated by actor Derek Jacoby, offers a captivating blend of docuseries and historical drama, delving deep into the world of pirates. Beginning with the aftermath of the War of the Spanish Succession, the series chronicles the tumultuous journey of swashbucklers as they clash over riches and resources in the Caribbean Sea. At number 9 we have The Empress Outlander has always dazzled audiences with its opulent period costumes, masterfully crafted by Emmy-winning costume designer Terry Dressback for seasons 1 to 4, and continued with Trisha Bigger taking over in season 5. If you're craving even more breathtaking attire, The Empress delivers in spades. The series follows Bavarian Duchess Elizabeth von Wittelsbach, affectionately known as Cece, who finds herself entangled in a forbidden love affair with her sister's intended Austrian Emperor Franz Joseph. As the 16-year-old Empress navigates the intricacies of the Austrian court, she does so in style, adorned in a plethora of stunning outfits. Let's all give a round of applause to Empress costume designer Gabrielle Riemer for her exceptional work. That's all for today. If you like video, do share it with your friends.